Now, Devon Cohn is an, a senior advocate for women and girls at Refugees International and joins us live from New York for more on this. Devon, what do these findings reveal? What's the main concern here? Well, the main concern is that Frontex, while conducting border security and helping um, frontline states with border, um, border management, that they are not able to act independently, like you said before, that, that when they find uh, ships in distress, they cannot act independently. They can alert the national authorities, but those national authorities are the ones that need to act, and they're not always acting. And so that's why we're seeing unnecessary migrant deaths like the ones we saw in the Adriana shipwreck in 2023. And... Devon, the, the European Union's own watchdog here wants changes to Europe's search and rescue rules. What are those changes that it wants to see? Well, those changes are that it wants Frontex to be able to act more independently. It wants uh, search and rescue efforts to to be, uh, you know, to... Uh, to they, they want search and rescue efforts to be undertaken by whoever finds the ships uh, first, and they want people to be able to uh, respond to these ships in distress. So they want changes to Frontex, and if they don't have those changes, that's why they're saying the EU could be seen as being complicit. And the relationship between the EU's border agency and the 27 member states is often fraught. Why is that? Well, one of the reasons why it's fraught is because, again, it's responsible to help the frontline um, countries, EU member states, uh, engage in border management. And they're seeing, as you said, there's so many asylum applications and so many asylum seekers in the rest of Europe, but the rest of Europe and the other member states uh, are often frustrated with Frontex that they're not able to control the borders the way they want them to. So that's part of the reason why um, the relationship has been so fraught over the years, because Frontex is responsible for helping to manage this border, you know, these, these uh, the sea borders that are is not being very, very successful, obviously. And at the heart of all this, of course, Devon, are the, are the migrants um, and their lives, which are at danger. Do you see hope uh, in, in the changes here, especially considering as the weather's improving, we're going to see this issue increase, aren't we? Yes, usually that is what we see as the weather improves and we go into summer, the numbers rise. And I think there is some hope because while the EU uh, border control uh, regulations are quite strict and quite um, problematic, in my opinion. Um, the Ombudsman coming out with this report on Frontex is really encouraging the EU and Frontex to be able to respond more easily and more quickly to these boats in distress. So hopefully we will see less migrant deaths. Since 2014, more than 30,000 uh, migrants are, are missing or dead in crossings in the Mediterranean. So it's not just this one boat last year with 600 people missing or dead. It's it's much bigger than that, a much bigger issue than that that needs to be dealt with and, and should be dealt with by changing some of the rules of Frontex. And how, are, how concerned are you? This report coincides with the EU Asylum Agency's yearly report published today as well, uh, with a record increase in asylum claims. A lot of European countries we're seeing, and no doubt more they'll be saying, that this backs up their hardline approach. How much does that concern you? Well, it concerns me because honestly, worldwide, not just the EU, um, you know, when numbers increase of asylum seekers and migrants, they're, they're always, you know, countries are always trying to take more hardline stances. But what we've seen is it actually, it indicates the opposite. It indicates that we, we already have hardline stances and there's already deterrence efforts and there's already pushbacks of asylum seekers. So we, to have these huge numbers while we already have deterrence measures means that those deterrence measures don't work. And that actually the places that people are fleeing from they're fleeing from worse situations than the situations they're finding in, um, you know, in Europe and with the border controls and with detention. So really, it indicates that that um, you know hardline policies don't work, but rather that migration is going to continue, and we just need to manage it uh, humanely and in a in an organized fashion. Devon, thank you very much for talking to us this evening. Devon Cohn, live for us there from New York.